Hi guys, this is Ray. Uh, welcome to Kampala and today I'm taking over Virtue Grace's channel because I want to give you guys a Kampala City Tour 2022. Uganda, also referred to as the Pearl of Africa, is a landlocked country in East Africa, border to the east by Kenya, South Sudan to the north, the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west, Rwanda to the southwest and Tanzania to the south. The capital is Kampala. Uganda covers a land area of about 242,000 kilometers square and sits at an average of 900 meters above sea level. The official language spoken here in Uganda is English. An estimated population of about 46 million people call Uganda home. Welcome to the Pearl of Africa, You're Uganda. I, like you've heard from Ray, she's going to take us around today and show us around the city like I always do. Today I'm going to take the back seat and Ray is going to take us because it is her city. This is my first <laughs> time here so I don't know anywhere around but I like to show you guys around as well so we are going to do that. But before we go, if you've not subscribed, kindly click on that subscribe button okay and when you do tap on the bell and select all that way you will always get notifications when I post a new video or I do a live stream and also her channel is linked in the description box. Her name is here subscribe as well and before we even go any further you know it's going to be a mind-blowing adventure so give it a thumb up and share the video now Ray mm -hmm. you are the one taking us around where are we exactly like this uh, so, point so right now we are at the independence monument okay uh, Uganda received its independence in October 1962 9th of October uh, this is the independence monument you guys and uh, this represents the independence of the country okay and our in were colonized by britain the uk so yeah this represents our freedom right here okay yeah. so you said your independence was in 1962 1962 yeah oh ours was in 1960 october as well oh okay. first of <laughs> october 1960 yeah and nigeria got independence so you're like 52 years old we are like 50 years 50, old okay yeah, that's awesome yeah. so independence uh, monuments so from here i can see other um like buildings around are there of any yeah so right behind us we do have the sheraton hotel though you might not see it okay and then right over here we do have grand imperial hotel the and then right that tall building this is the central bank it's called a bank of uganda right over there okay there. and then when we just across the street right over there we do have the monument of the first president of uganda okay. he was called kabaka edward mutesa uh, the second that was our first president okay right over there so, yeah. so where else are we going after here because you're taking us round. Where else are we going? I don't want to spoil the fun for you okay, guys. Okay, all right. You're going to see. Okay, so just yeah. stay watching. She's taking us to another interesting side of the city. Yeah. You don't want to miss that. Yeah, so guys, I like the video and enjoy the tour with us. Let's go. <laughs> so, Grace. Yeah. From the Independence Monument, mm -hmm. this route here is called Nile Avenue. Nile Avenue. Yes, it's going to take you to Serena and then it will lead it around about okay. very close to the Parliament. Okay. And then this up here will just take you to Nakasero. Nakasero. So right across the road, I want to show you the first president of Uganda monument. Okay. Yeah, so let's cross, but with Kampala, you have to be very careful yeah. with the taxis. Yeah. And if a okay. taxi is about to beat you, just do your hand like this so that you make sure you don't yeah. get knocked. Yeah. Yeah. So right here is the monument of the first president of Uganda. Okay. So he was a traditional leader of Uganda Kingdom. Okay. Which is the kingdom in the central region where Kampala is. Okay. And then he became our first president. Okay. So that's why you have him here in the city. Of course, right next to the city clock, yeah. Okay. And then right behind is Bank of Uganda, yeah, our central bank, there. just like I showed you earlier. Okay. Yeah. And then this way leads to where? This is Standard Chartered Bank. Mm -hmm. And then when you slope down, this is going to take you to Kampala Road. Kampala Road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kampala, the capital and largest city, is located in the central region of the country, covering about 189 kilometers square area and a population of about 1.7 million people. <laughs> Uh, 
Mr. Musinguzi is going to tell us about. By the way, this is Mr. Musinguzi. He is also a content creator. Nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Musinguzi. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to Uganda and Thank Kampala. Thank you. So Thank right you. now, as we're speaking, yeah. uh, you know Uganda is big on tourism. Mm -hmm. And worldwide, we know that Uganda has more than half of the number of mountain gorillas in the entire world. Interesting. And right now, in Kampala, we do have a monument for okay. uh, one of the first uh, leader of the first family of park that was habituated. And okay. that is Ruhondeza right over okay. here. Huge as it looks here, Ruhondeza okay. was the silverback. What happens is that when a gorilla, a male gorilla is growing up, mm -hmm. at around the age of nine, it starts developing a silver lining in the fur. In the fur. Okay. And that is uh, usually the, the maturity. That's when they saw the identify that the gorilla is maturing. So okay. this Ruhondeza uh, uh, was the leader of the first pack that was habituated. Because ideally the gorillas were wild animals. But then habituation means that they make them used to human beings being around. So that when guys like you come from Nigeria and yeah. you want to see them, <laughs> they are familiar with the people. Uh -huh. So this is a monument to show that. Okay. If you're lucky, you can go to uh, one of our national park where we find the gorillas. I don't know whether you're planning to do that. Oh, but maybe. It's a good experience because okay. uh, we do have amazing experiences okay. right there. Ruhundeza. Yeah, Ruhundeza. The gentle giant. It's a very gentle, it was a very gentle giant. But then um, in, uh, in Ruchiga, the tribe that lives around the national park, mm -hmm. it means a sleepy guy. Yeah? So even when you read here, it shows you that he was a sleepy fellow. Ah, okay. In case you didn't know that there are lots of gorillas here in Uganda, now you know you can get a tourist visa and buy your tickets and come to Uganda to see them. There are a lot and a lot of them here, according to what he has said. So, yeah, Uganda gives and keeps giving. Now let's go. Where next? You are going to find out. Stay watching. Remember to subscribe to his channel and definitely give the video a thumb up, okay? Kampala is said to be among Africa's fastest growing cities with a population growth rate of 4.03% annually. This is the first hotel in Uganda. It's called Speak Hotel. And then right above it, we do have Sheraton. You can see it from here, Kampala Sheraton. That was the five, first five-star hotel in Uganda. Okay. So this is called Kimathi Avenue. Oh, after yeah. named after Didan Kimathi, yeah. who was a Kenyan independence freedom fighter. fighter. Freedom fighter, yeah. yes. The building right behind us is National Social Security. We usually call it Workers' House. So in Uganda, just like anywhere else, you have to, if you are an employee, you have to pay a certain tax towards your retirement. So that's the place where all the money is kept. So it's a very popular landmark. If you don't know where to go in Kampala, then just ask like NSSF. They'll bring you here and then whoever you're looking for can always find you there. So uh, let's continue right about now. We're going to have lunch and Grace is going to taste some Ugandan food. We're going to find out Ugandan and Nigerian food, which are is better. So come guys, let's continue. So we've arrived at the restaurant. It's called Oscan Foods. They do serve a local food. So when you come to Kampala, this is the place to eat at. Guys, the one thing I've noticed so far in Uganda is the portions of meals are usually very large. Like this is one serving, and it's a whole lot of rice, and then other accompaniments. So what I ordered for is a um, chicken pilau, and it comes with chicken. Rice order is um, goat pilau. Goat pilau. So yeah. pilau is actually rice, you yeah, know. Yeah, pilau is rice. Yeah. So this is what we have. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. that is some soup. Soup, soup yeah. And, and then that is avocado. Avocado. <laughs> we call that kachumbari. That is kachumbari. tomatoes mixed with raw onions. Like they just chop it up in like very tiny. Okay. We call it kachumbari. I think it's like a Swahili yeah. thing or something. I think I've yeah. heard some Kenyan yeah, yeah, YouTubers yeah. also say kachumbari. Yeah. So this is it, guys. A whole lot. After eating this one, I will just go home and sleep. <laughs> I will not walk again. We'll will you guys let left, me? We go. have a long way to go. So, yeah. Ray says we need energy. So, course, yeah. come join us. Come join this us. This is breakfast, stroke lunch, guys. Ah, so. This is brunch. Yeah, brunch. Brunch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, come join us. Let's eat. Let me have a taste. Have a taste. So, you can, if you want, you can mix like a little bit of beans in the. Tastes good. 
I can taste some spices in it that I don't know them, but it all comes together good. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. All right, let's eat. Life in Kampala seems slow-paced and relatively safe, making it a worthy destination for visitors. <laughs> Yeah, we've had we are lunch. standing at Kampala Road now. We are very energetic. <laughs> it's about to rain. Yeah. There is a bit of traffic. It's very windy. Uh -huh. Right now we want to go and check out the market. So let's go to the market before it rains on Wait, us. but before we go to the market, yeah. you said this is Kampala Road. Yeah. Why is it called Kampala Road? Is it because it's the major road or oh, yes, why? Yes. why? So this is the main street, like okay. yeah, it's just Kampala Road. It's the main street. Okay. In Kampala. This is like city center. Mm -hmm. We have here tram towers. Okay. We have here the DTP center. Okay. We have, yes, this, that is Uganda House. It's one of the oldest buildings in Kampala. Okay. Yeah, so this is just like the city center. No, the major yeah. street in the city center. Yeah, so we're okay. just going to continue and go to the market. All right. And one thing you are going to notice on Kampala Road is there are lots of shops. Since it's the major street, I can see lots of shops and a lot of human activities here. I think I've seen more people around here than I've seen in the other areas we've gone so far. What do you guys think? Drop a comment and remember to give it a thumb up, okay? Give the video a thumb up and let's go. Yes, so this motorcycle. Okay. So what's your name? Philip. Philip, I'm Grace. I'm visiting from Nigeria. Uh, from Nigeria? Yes. Uh, Have you been to Nigeria before? Would you like to go? I would like, but yeah, I don't have a chance. But you don't have a chance. <laughs> what do you know about Nigeria? Have you heard anything about Nigeria? I know the movies. Eh? Movies? Okay. So which which movie have you watched that you remember? I'm not sure about it. A lot. I'm not sure which actor or actress? <laughs> which actor or actress do you know? The one who owns. Nigerian actors or actress. Which one do you know? I don't have an idea. <laughs> you know, we don't know Genesis. But you said, but you, said you watch a lot of movies. Okay. Yes. So what do you have to tell people that want to come to Uganda? You know me, I came from Nigeria. Some people might also want to come. What do you want to tell them? Uganda is nice. It's nice. Yes. Okay. So are people welcome to come? They should come and visit. Okay. The currency used in Uganda is the Ugandan shillings, which exchanges at about 3,500 to 3,800 Ugandan shillings per US dollar. As at the time of making this video, of course. Uh, this is Loom Street. It starts from here. And Loom Street, I think about it, is like it's the first, the first shop in Uganda was set up here. Okay. In like 1902 or 1912. I don't okay. remember that, yeah. Uh, okay. Unless you sing with the nose, yeah. Okay. So this so is where the is oldest it? street. Uh, I really don't know the spot exactly, but okay. the first shop in Uganda was on this street. So the business first... started here. Okay. Yeah, and then it grew to the rest of the areas. Nice. Yeah. So Loom Street is also designated for pedestrians and bicycles. Okay. You can't drive a car. Okay. Yeah, so nice. you can see they've planted some trees all over mm -hmm. to make it greener and nicer. So we definitely have to shout out to the KCCA. Yeah. I think What's KCCA? Cap Kampala Capital City Authority. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to do a good job with these streets here. Yeah. <laughs> this is called 
like a cereal market. Okay. And it's a market for fresh fruits. Okay. So you can see it's quite busy. Mm -hmm. There's so many people around and we are trying to be careful not to offend anyone because yeah. Ugandans are not used to cameras like that. <laughs> but it's basically a market for fresh food. You can come and buy the food here. Mm -hmm. It's in the middle of the town. So when people are leaving work, going home, mm -hmm. this is the place where everyone comes to buy food. Okay. Yeah, I so can see a lot of fresh fruits actually. Yeah. Um, where, where does the fruits come from? They are all grown here. Some are grown here, some are imported from Kenya. Okay. Yeah, but most of them are grown here okay. locally, like from the, all the region, mm -hmm. like north, south, okay. east, west, and they bring to the central. Because mm -hmm. most of the population is in Kampala, and people in Kampala don't go to the garden. Like, we don't have gardens here. So, we rely on the rest of the country. <laughs> this okay. is Mr. Msingi. Hey guys, we're yeah. in the Casero Market, one of the biggest markets here in Uganda and yeah. Kampala. Yeah. How can you enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, the best so fruits and vegetables to be cheap here because so they are quite affordable. I can't say they are cheap, but they are quite affordable, affordable for sure. Okay. Yeah. So guys, you see, the beauty of being in Africa is you get a lot of fresh fruits to um, fresh fruits and vegetables that are really organic and very healthy. That's what I can see. And everywhere I've gone so far, I can say that for sure. And even in this market, you can see lots of fruits. So if you ever visit Uganda and you need where to get fresh fruits, Makasero Makasero Market is here for you. Right. I've never seen buses this many in my life in one place until today. Yeah, so, so this is called the old tax park. Old tax park. Yeah, there is okay. a new one, but this is called the old one. Okay. So Matatu or these small buses, mm -hmm. you can see they all have the same color. Mm -hmm. White and blue stripes. Yeah. Majority of them. Mm -hmm. So this is public means of transport. Okay. If you want to move around, this is like the cheapest thing to do. Okay. So there are very many different stages within the park. Mm -hmm. You see all those little signposts. Yeah. Those are locations within Kampala residential areas where people stay. Okay. So you just enter, say maybe I'm going to Tinder. They will direct you where the Tinder one is, and you grab it. Okay. They are very cheap, but the downside is they get stuck in traffic. You can spend like two hours, uh -huh. so then you rather use like a motorcycle, which is faster, which is and faster. can maneuver through traffic. Uh -huh, and can maneuver through the traffic. I see. Yeah. So this uh, is the old tax park. Okay. Yes. And do these ones also go like outside Kampala? No. So oh. outside Kampala, it's the new tax park. Okay. So you're going to like other districts of Uganda, Western Uganda, Northern Uganda. New tax park if you want to use the small tax. Okay. But then you also have tax parks for buses, the bigger buses which also go in other areas of Uganda. Okay. This one's here that within Kampala. Okay. Yeah. Guys, this are, like I said, a lot, a lot of buses here. Yeah. L let me try counting. One, two, three, four, Good five, six, that. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> I can count you tomorrow, I won't finish. Like, yeah. wow, That's so nice many thing. buses. So, you so when you come to Kampala, you need to take a bus within the city, I'm showing you today, come to Old Tax Park, Ray has shown us, you take a taxi, go anywhere, take a bus, not a taxi, and go anywhere you want to go. You see, I plug you guys into the best of places and deals within Africa, free of charge. Why can't you give this video a thumb up? See the things I do for you guys, give it a thumb up, and remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed already. And Ray's channel is also linked in the description box, the name is on the screen, subscribe okay that's the only way you can encourage us and definitely share this video some people are planning to visit uganda but they are contemplating this video might be the sign and that conviction they need to come so share the video share it everywhere let people come and visit uganda is a multicultural country which boasts of over 56 languages and three major ethnic groups the bantus the nilotics and the nilo hamites as well as a sizable population of foreign nationals this is 
the busiest yeah. place in Kampala. And obviously because of the market, they call this place downtown Kampala. It's the market yeah, area. Business, yeah. Yeah. Market area. And this is a place that gives me Lagos vibes because of the number of people here and the human activities, the traffic and all. Our city tour has brought us to this famous Gaddafi Mosque here in Kampala, Uganda. Uh, Ray and Mr. Musinguzi said it is a place that everyone visiting Kampala must come and see. So I said, why not? Let's have a look. So welcome to Gaddafi Mall. This mall has a lot of history and, you know, fact about it, which you are going to learn about shortly. A tour guide is going to take us around and tell us about it. You can see suddenly I'm looking different. That's because when, when you get to the mosque here, you go to the office, you pay the sum of 20,000 Ugandan shillings, and then they give you these scarves, which you cover your head, and then you wrap around. That's if you are not dressed properly. This is the way they dress you up properly before you go into the mosque. So that explains why I look like this, in case you are wondering, okay? So welcome with me to Gaddafi Mosque. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay. So My name is Phil Dows and I'm your guide. So when you come here, you take off your shoes. Yeah, there are signs there. Yeah. You take off your shoes before you go in. So, uh, we're here. The construction of the mosque was initiated by the third president of Uganda, okay. Idi Amin Dada. In 1971, he sought two well-established churches which inspired him to build a mosque here. Okay. Because he was Muslim, so he donated 12 acres of land to facilitate the construction of the mosque. Okay. And construction started in 1972 okay. and went on up to 1979 when he was overthrown out of power okay. by Dr. Milton Obote, who was a Muslim, so construction stopped, stopped okay. in 1979 okay. until the coming of Muammar Gaddafi in 2001 mm -hmm. when he came to visit Uganda. He was interested in completing the work that Amin had started. Mm -hmm. So when he went back to Libya, he sent engineers in 2002 to come and inspect the buildings and everything. Mm -hmm. So when they came, they found out that the walls were weak and everything was damaged because for over 20 years there was nothing done. Mm -hmm. They suggested that they should demolish everything and come up with a new plan. Okay. So this is what they what? came up with. And everything you see was completed in four years. In four years. So awesome. from 2003 to 2006, but the official opening was in 2008. Okay. So there is a gap of two years because they were waiting for Gaddafi to come and open it officially. So okay. when he came, they named it the Gaddafi Mosque. Okay. After him. All right. And then later, after the death of Gaddafi in 2011, the mosque still needed funding from the Libyan government. Okay. But the government of Libya didn't want to fund a mosque named after Gaddafi anymore. Mm -hmm. So they had to change the name from Gaddafi National Mosque to Uganda National Mosque. To what? Uh, Uganda National Mosque. Uganda Mosk. National Mosque. Yeah, in okay. 2013 they changed the name. So it's the official name right now. Okay. All but right. the mosque has two other names, which are Old Kampala okay. Mosque. Okay. Because it is on Old Kampala Hill okay. and Kampala Central Mosque, because it is in the center of Kampala. Okay. So it has four names. But the popular name is Gaddafi. Okay. We so we can't leave our shoe anywhere. We put our shoes here. Okay. And so you keep your shoes here, then we can proceed. Let's go. It was built, the mosque was built on a capacity of 15,000 people. 15,000 people? Yeah. Wow. But it can go up to more than 35,000 on okay. festivities like Eid and on Fridays. Mm -hmm. So this is the main prayer room okay. and it is mainly opened on those big days. On okay. Fridays and other days like Eid. But for the daily prayers, we use the ones on the, on on the, the other ground. floor. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. So that's why, awesome. the reason why we always come here, because this is the main prayer room, and they don't use it for the daily prayers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Also, this looks good. So, Guys, so Uganda National Mosque, formerly called the Gaddafi Mosque. National Mosque. Uh, Gaddafi National Mo Mosque. No yeah. more. This is a good example of the kind of things we can achieve as Africans when we work together. Like you heard the tour guide say, it was funded by Gaddafi from the Libyan government. And this is what has been achieved. So apart from you know religion and all of that, of course, this is a mosque, a religious um, structure. But beyond religion, we can also achieve so many other things if we cooperate together as Africans, oh, support no, each other. Yeah, That's the Pan-African spirit yeah. we can, you know, yeah, cultivate yeah, and promote yeah. across Africa. Yeah. We see other people yeah. struggling in areas of yeah. education yeah. and we are getting it yeah. as other Africans. Yeah. We can send help, yeah. maybe not financial, but in terms of skilled manpower, we see other people struggling with electricity and you have the skilled manpower and technical know-how to help them. Of course, you can send help. So this is what Uganda is trying to teach us from here. I travel across Africa to learn and share with you. I've learned something very useful here today. And that's what I want to share with you from the Uganda National Mosque. Yeah, so. So the minaret has 304 steps from down, but from the entrance it is 272 steps, and it is 50.5 meters high. So the reason why every mosque has a minaret is because traditionally they used to go up to call for prayer, but not anymore because of technology. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. There are seven traditional hills, but we have more than 21 hills that make up Kampala. And our first hill is this one right here, where we are standing. This is called Old Kampala Hill, and it's the center of Kampala. The reason why they call it Old Kampala is because Kampala started from here and it spread to other parts. So before there was anything, it used to be a hunting ground for one of the late kings of Uganda. And Impalas used to camp here, so whenever the king came to hunt, they could say that he had gone to the camp of Impala oh Kasozka impala in luganda so from that they got the name of the hill kampala then later in 1890 when the british sent captain frederick lugat to come and declare uganda as a british protectorate this is where he put his fort this is where the union jack was raised to declare uganda as a british protectorate but later the fort was moved to facilitate the construction of the mosque Guys, so did you know that Kampala actually got its name from the animal called antelope? So the Ugandan word for antelope is impala. Kampala was gotten from impala. I just thought to mention that because I'm sure many of you do not know. I'm always here to share new information with you guys, educate you, entertain you, and most of all, show you amazing, beautiful places across Africa. That is what Ray has done today. She's taken me around Kampala and shown me the beautiful city of Kampala, which you've seen. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you've enjoyed watching as much as I have, please kindly help me thank Ray. Ray, please come. Uh, Mr. Musinguzi, please. These are the amazing Uganda guys, my sister Ray and my brother, Mr. Musinguzi. They are the ones who have taken me around Uganda, Kampala, and shown me the place. Thank you so much for so taking our so time. Fun. I hope you loved Kampala. I did, I did. I had an amazing time. And look at the amazing transformation at the yeah. end of the day. She started normal and yeah, she started yeah. so that different now she ended up a hajat. That's the magic that you see in Kampala, <laughs> only in Kampala. Yeah. Right? Okay. Oh, yeah, we are reaching nice. you from the minaret, the um, tallest, tallest structure here at the Gaddafi Mosque, Mosque, now known as the Uganda National Mosque. So thank you very much for watching. I almost passed out climbing this place. You guys wouldn't have even seen the end of this video, but thank goodness I made it. This Ray was the one that kept pushing me up. Thank I you for pushing me. She encouraged me yeah. and she carried my bag along the way. But the view motivating from behind. He was <laughs> <laughs> The view at the end is actually worth the climb. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah. If you've not subscribed, 
head over Sorry. to race channel it is linked here her name is here and mr musinguzi his name is also here the channel is linked go subscribe to their channel tell them thank you definitely give this video a thumb up like Give it and a come to Uganda, up. guys. Come to Uganda. And come and visit come to Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. Come to Uganda, you know? We love All right. you. Guys. Love you. Bye -bye. Take care. See you in my next video. Bet you grace the African storyteller. <laughs> <laughs>